Do you think Shaq is looking for the same thing he was looking for when he originally uh, met Shani? Shaq, Shaq is in a completely different situation than 95% of the world. Shaq is a multimillionaire. You can't give exceptions to the rule. Love is we love. can't give Didn't exceptions say to that the rule. Earlier? Love the, is love. Re, the reason I asked that was this. The, 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 the reason I asked that was this. If you, which is why I said the beginning from the ages of 16 to, to 26 and you were single and you're going into a perfect uh, situation for the relationship, then that advice perfectly works. But there are people who have been divorced who aren't trying to get remarried for whatever reason. It could be they, they don't want to lose their pension. It's people who have all type of reasons for why they won't redo something or why they don't want to. And those people have to get information as from people who have some type of understanding of what it is like to date that market. Everybody that's, want to be married. That's, that's contrary. Yeah, we got to get we got to get Jasmine, Shannon, and Trev in there. Go ahead, Jasmine. Um, I mean, I'm gonna keep mine short, but um, yeah, everybody's not trying to get married. Some people don't believe in the con the you know the institution of marriage, but I mean, I personally do. I do date to be married to be married but there are i like that they do have shows like that where you can just talk about things where it's like other than just oh i'm dating to be married so there's podcasts specifically for those people that want to only get advice on how can i be a better wife how can i be a better husband or nurture myself into that space then you watch that but don't bash you know the people that are just talking about you know casual interactions or or even just dating in college helping them navigate that better to understand like red flags do's and don'ts and things like that these could help people just become better people in general like just for the dating world like once they get there or once they do decide maybe later oh i do want to be married one day but they could at least help navigate them better in the dating world or i think you know just the purpose of dating in general is just for companionship like so it's just everyone's looking for some type of companionship some type of partner to just share some time with share life with now if you decide it's gonna be your life partner you get married if you don't decide to marry this person this could be your best friend forever or something like that but it's still just this this the situation of nobody wants to be alone so you don't have to technically be married to not be alone but you know it's just i don't know it's just really judgmental to you know be like no it has to be this way or that's how we're gonna end up in the handmaid's tale situation very soon <laughs> Jason, what, Jason, what are your thoughts on pickup artists Pickup artists? Yep. Like, elaborate. What are your thoughts on the advice that pickup artists to have sex with them? Oh, um, I mean, they're trash. But I mean, if you get picked up, if you get picked up by one, then I mean, maybe you just what makes, what makes them trash though? Wait, what is a pickup artist? I, that's why I asked him to elaborate. But he no, said, "No, he Marcus said, answered it." What he said? The that the, they give men advice on how to pick up women for sex. How to use their mouthpiece to to get sex? It's kind of like in that you you watched Hitch when you know he thought he was giving that guy advice because he genuinely wanted to date someone like, but then he really was just like, oh, I just I just got laid. That's all I wanted. Thank you, or whatever. Like it's it's not fair because you know some women really be going into the situation thinking like, oh, like he really likes me and stuff like that. And and that's exactly the problem with tonight's conversation show is because you got different people answering different questions on how to move in mar in the marketplace and people like you wind up getting hurt because your ass ran into a pickup artist but he got his advice he's got his dating advice from a pickup artist who taught him how to deal with women like you and get in your pants meanwhile you may be dealing with somebody and they give you totally different advice this yeah. is the point that tony was saying is that all of y'all are out here giving out all this different crazy advice for all these different scenarios instead of being guided by a purpose and then this is how all y'all wind up getting hurt. Every last one y'all get hurt in the end because y'all all come in with different intentions, different situations, different reasons for why you want to do it. And then y'all run into each other and then you got a shit storm. Oh, yeah. I rest yeah. right there. All right, hold tight, y'all. Let's, let's get Shannon. Now go ahead, Shannon. I mean, Sweeney just summed it up. I think that that's exactly what is going on. I've had, I've had the opportunity to watch both. It's like Jerry Spur you know, Sodom Gomorrah is <laughs> the, the, the conversation, right? They sit there and they're like, you know what? In 2024, people ain't dating for marriage. So we're going to show you how to maneuver through all the foolery out there, right? <laughs> then you have Tony who was like, you shouldn't even be dealing with foolery because dating should even be about that. It should be about this, right? We've turned dating into something that it was never meant to be. It's turned into this, okay, I'm a help you do this, da, 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 you know, and it's turned into this 
big mess. <laughs> and so I think that what Tony wants them to do is, hey, cut out all that. We should be, if you're gonna say that your relationship, you know, mm -hmm. show, if you focus, should be focused on getting people in relationships to go towards what relationships were meant to do, and that's marriage or a life partnership, something you could be proud of. Um, but what's happening is this whole Jerry Springer thing we got going on here, talking about situationships and all is leaving us with single parents, you know, kids being raised without both of their parents. People jump from one relationship to another, high body counts, everything, everything that has torn our community up is just leading to more of the, that. Nothing <laughs> prosperous is coming out of the situation. So just like the music, dating is just as detrimental to our our community as that music is okay we gotta stop using each other just for i i i if you don't like the chick don't you like oh but she's fine just let her go let it be right you, you gotta mm -hmm. everybody is so selfish mm -hmm. <laughs> it's ridiculous it's all about what is about me 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 it's never about anybody else but being you don't care who you hurt in the process that's the mm -hmm. crazy thing about it Cause these shows wouldn't even have a platform if that if, if you focus on just being right as a person, morally just walking earth and just doing right by other people. Do what if you don't want it done to you, don't do it to other people, right? Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much what it is. I, I get it. It's like wholesome against, you know. <laughs> hey, I'm I'm gonna say this and go so I can go uh refill my cup up. Casual <laughs> dating. <laughs> And I, I know Trev got something cooking behind them glasses. Casual dating has literally led to single parent to single mothers at a rampant pace. So if we are validating people dating just because, then you can't say shit about a single mother. You you can't. Th there's there's nothing. Because you're literally okay in it. There's there's no reason for you to be in the dating pool if you are not there for marriage. Period. Ace was simply pandering, continuing to pander to his platform. If I if I tell people that you have to date for marriage, then a lot of these women that are nine out of ten, uh upset and bitter and hurt and going to these shows to validate it and just especially if two women on here just so happen to use the same term of it being ratchet you know what i'm saying like that's for me that's a that's an immediate red flag they was talking about the environment it's a party exactly. it is ratchet, bro you, you have to you go can't, to can't. the show yourself and experience it yourself before you can i've gone to the show like, i know that's that's cool that's and cool. i'm not but saying the, I'm, I'm a very I'm not saying i i don't believe that they're giving out um irrational information and this is again coming from this perspective of somebody that's attended the show and i believe in dating with intentions so i don't want that to ever be confused um, I just don't think that there's anything wrong with the platform that they have. And I'm going to stand on that. <laughs> I think it's a lot wrong with the platform. But I'm, I'm going to go get my drink. Yeah, have y'all ever, wait, everybody that's vehemently against them, have y'all ever watched a full episode or been to I'm not show? against them. I'm, I'm not vehemently against them. I just don't, I'm just against how the, the messages. I'm but have you seen this? How, no, it's not. I, I've seen one show, but I'm not necessarily against the show. All I'm simply saying is, is that you have one person that's given a purpose to something, a singular purpose, and another person that's saying that, hey, look, you gotta, you gotta figure out a way to, to dip and dive into the way that everybody, you gotta answer the question for everybody. And when you have a show like that, that really does cause confusion because on one half of the audience, they thinking, okay, well, my advice is, I'm, I'm trying to date for this, but now I have to deal with the person that's getting advice over there on how to deal with me in this particular situation because they may have advice of saying man i'm dealing with this woman that that really ain't trying to give it up how do i how do i give it up or how do i get her to give up the job and somebody on that stage to give them their advice on how to do it no, and then meanwhile you got this woman over here in the corner like damn you teaching that nigga how to get how to teach but that's not a platform though they not giving out advice like that that's what i'm saying yeah I'm so, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, would you guys say that 
But would you guys would you guys say that we're doing the same exact thing? Yes, absolutely. That's what I'm saying. Absolutely. <laughs> that's what I was. That's exactly what absolutely. I was about to say. Because because if by that logic, when we get to the relationship part, half of us need to shut up. I by that logic, every time. So. No, but you know what? And that's why I stay consistent. By that logic, it's a lot of pretty much the same. Well, I don't think that that's. I don't. No, 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 no. I don't think that that's true. I think that the difference is if there were a single person going through the dating process, and their goal was to teach you how to date so you can get to where Tony is, and they were on point, like do it this way, go in with intent. Because there's a right way to do things, and the wrong way to do things. You can't never make anything wrong right, right? So. You, you go in knowing and you're you're standing on yours and you know that this is like the the wholesome way to do it right I think that they, those two people can work together mm -hmm. I think the problem with the a show is is so many wrongs in there and and, and wrong is up to them because some people just don't have they, they don't know wrong I mean you know some people think it's okay to bounce it you know people got different standards but for the most part the point it works, it works, I the point huh People have different standards. That is the point. Right. So, but if they have different standards than that, then we can't say anything about sexy red. They got different standards on that too. Like, yeah. there's no point in us having these conversations because, because, because if she want to be on OnlyFans, let her be that. Teach her how to be a good OnlyFans. We can, <laughs> we can do it on every level. You know what I'm saying? So, if you're gonna say something is wrong, stick with the fact that it's wrong. You can't be wishy washy. So, so, 